hey folks, Species 7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Canadian Village map. Do hope everyone's doing well. Today it is a Friday. So, I am cleaning the straw off the field. And at this point, all I'm doing is taking it back to the silo. Um, luckily enough, the silos on this farm will actually hold everything. And I do mean everything. You can even put pig fodder into the silos. <laughs> So that's a good thing. We have a place to store all of this. And uh, store it we will. For further considerations. In the meantime, I've got uh, the big Ziri in there using the, uh, the cedar from the Big Bud Pack to lay some new corn down. Got the canola field finished yesterday. So we have our crop o Canadiana growing. And everything else seems to be coming along well. So, thanks for the uh, the views on my last map review. It's uh, quite a nice map, actually. A good effort by Bullet Bill. <coughs> of course, I noticed while I was uploading it and surfing the YouTube that uh, a mere two days before I did mine, I guess Dagger went and did a review on the same thing. So that was, uh, by the time I posted mine, he already had 60,000 views on his. So, probably not the best choice of maps to do a review on at that particular time. But, oh well. <laughs> I guess sheeple will be sheeple. Okay. Well, this is going to take a bit of time. I get approximately one row completely fills this trailer. It's a, a big field. <laughs> what can I tell you? Mm hmm. Like you had the right away. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, different rules for different fools. You ever feel like you're being followed? It's because you are. Alrighty, fella. And... Slam her in. Yeah, funny enough, the first row was exactly one trailer. Like, I thought, oh, it's just gonna give me time to turn around. Nope. <laughs> Second one, however, came up a, a couple percent shy. So, oh well. But I am not going to make you guys sit through all of this straw collection. I just uh, thought I'd show you what I'm doing, and uh, I'll be back when it's time to move on. So I shall see you momentarily, as the cows say. Get it? Momentarily. All right, well, darn near an hour later, and we're back. All the straw is gathered, and it uh, took into the evening pretty late, so I have uh, made it the next morning. And then, of course, upon awakening, I have the messages screaming at me, clean your cow area, clean your sheep area. So right now, we're just on our way over for a little cleanup on oil sheep, as it were. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Seeing as the productivity has been doing really well, um, in fact, I do believe that we need to uh, clear that bale because they are full. That is a oh, that's okay. There's uh, awesome. There is a little bit of a uh, leeway given to us. I see. I think it looks like we can produce uh, two or three bales before it's a panic scenario. Alright, so they didn't seem to think that worked. Let's roll on over to the others. Get the breeding facilities cleaned up first, and then we'll worry about the, uh, the rest of it. This is odd, I'm not used to the pigs having this in front of them instead of uh, corn. <laughs> hmm. 
nor do you particularly expect to be picking up grass. Okay, I'm pretty sure that should do fine for them. And we're just gonna fool our cows here. <laughs> we're gonna give them a little bit of regurgitated piggy grass, cause hey, who doesn't like that for breakfast? <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeedy. Okay. I don't know what it's stuck on. Doesn't appear to be anything there. Oh well. Maybe just deal with it and move along. Oops. Ah, idiot. Well, that's okay. It actually tipped it into the bin, so I'll call her good. <laughs> Yes, indeed. All right, let's go deal with the... Uh, apparently that didn't do it, so... Okay, that should pretty much be the uh, sheep's clean. Let's go get the last. Whoa. Well, that looks pretty good, so... Must be around the side. Oops. Huh. I'm just gonna empty this out here. Because I see these piggies need some work as well. There we go. This is more like it. Your average crop of corn spitters. That's the type of pig we usually raise. Yes, indeed. So, counting the bales, we have oh, pretty close to uh, three quarters of a million liters of straw. So, I think that's going to get us by for a little while. I think we can, uh, unless we decide to put some up for sale, I think we can quite safely say we have enough straw. And selling it's probably not a bad idea, should we decide we actually need to put down another straw producing crop which I'm sure we will there's so many crops in this map pack oh, we're not going to get her all in one go hmm The, uh, when I dropped TMR into the uh, cow bins, it registered almost instantly that they no longer needed it. It doesn't appear that the uh, cleanup works as quickly. Mm 
company because I'm pretty sure that would cover it. Alright, and we have one more animal type thing to deal with here. But this one be a little easier to take. <laughs> Get you over here and get you parked. In the animal tendon area. Okay. Because what we want to do is put a little money in the bank. And we're going to do that with this. Yes, indeed. We're off. Do, 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 do. So the field I just finished pulling the straw off of, we're going to turn into a multi root crop field. We'll do uh, carrots, onions, uh, and likely sugar beets all in the same... Uh, uh, there's no point in passing him, he's turning. There you go. Uh, even signal, good for him. Yeah, we're going to turn that field there into multi-root crop. And then we have another field that we're going to be turning into uh, some of the multi-grains, the things we don't normally grow, like millet and sorghum and yum yum and who knows triticale <laughs> as opposed to of course triticaline which is a, a type of crop derived from triticale but only if you're a star trek fan and of course actual star trek fans would know exactly what i'm Oh, I didn't realize there was a bunch of production going on here. Wow. All right, we've got Ugurt. No, that's yogurt. What the heck is this? Oh, cottage cheese? Quark. Oh, alrighty. I know what quark is. I've had that. My mom was East German. Okay. Homogenized milk. Swiss cheesing. All right, wow. So we have just a, a plethora of products. An absolute plethora of products. Okay. Mmm, piece of candy. Mmm, piece of candy. All right, so. All right, well, it would appear that uh, there is a singular tippeth point. Oh, he says as he spots yet another. Hmm. Crap, eh? All right, well. <laughs> hmm. Ah. ah. Okay, there's a camera view I <laughs> wasn't expecting. start with this one so I think in the time that uh, it took me to do the straw we had two pigs and one sheep and one chicken born so that's kind of cool because it gives you a little pop-up for everything eh? so maybe once in a while I hear a ding a pig was born. <laughs> Yay, right on. Three down, 47 to go. <laughs> mm. 
Mmm, piece of candy. <laughs> and what is this? Look at that, a brand new kind of gauge, eh? A little bit of a level. Cool. Well, she's just as it finishes. All right, there we go. There we go. So we now have corn planted there. It does need a final fertilize, which we're going to be getting to. Come on, make your move. Oh, dude. Jeez. <laughs> I tell you. Never a dull moment when it comes to AI traffic. <laughs> I remember when Euro Truck was working the bugs out of their AI traffic. Oh man, you would run into some just horrifying things. Sitting at traffic lights for hours, literally hours. Nothing would happen unless you re-logged the game and then took advantage of that few seconds you have before traffic spawns in. <laughs> oh yeah. You just zip across the intersection, go like heck, and then boom, traffic spawns in. All right, let's see how much more we actually had stored here. We might make a second trip. Just to get the rest of all that production going. Woohoo! Going crazy. Come on, my sheep area is clean, man. Quit trying to guilt me out. Yeah, it looks like we're going to make another full tanker here. Not surprised, this that was our first delivery. Oh, not quite. Well, fail. <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty. So, next, next, next. Oh, I know what's next. have to go and pick up a vehicle, but it's not yet. Give me a ride, man. Oh. It's not yet registered in the uh, VGS mod, so. Okay, our corn is seeded. Like I said, what it does require at this point is a wee bit of the furt. So. we go. Oh. Well, it certainly didn't help out my bank account. I just noticed that was uh, production only. I guess I should have thought about that. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I guess I should have thought about that. Here we are. This is our sprayer. There are many sprayers like it, but this one is mine. Now I believe that one's already got triple fert because our cedar was fertilizing as it went. Which leaves us only that guy. Hmm. Now, this is just dry fertilizer, isn't it? Yeah, darn. Well, that's not going to work then. So, um, pretty sure I have a facility that produces liquid fertilizer. Let's go have a look for it. <laughs> if not, this could be an awful short job. It's not this thing, is it? Which, uh, slurry? No. 
Okay, this is strictly digestate. Slurry is all we're going to get out of here. All right. This is kind of a neat unit. You can actually... Uh, Disconnect it. It has a couple of other attachments. Uh, might have been fooling myself, you know, because I know it ain't going to come out of the compost thing. Uh, it might be this, and you know what? I don't think that this thing is up and running yet. Oh, look at that. Oof. Gotta put that somewhere else. Digestate slurry. Manure. Straw. Okay, that doesn't do me any good. I don't think this does either, does it? No. Hmm. Okie dokie. Artichokey. Uh, that's TMR. That's that. Okay. Huh. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. This is not so much good. corn facility. It produces fuel. Oh, and liquid fertilizer, which we have some of. I knew I had something going on. Alrighty, it's around the other side. Probably not enough to do the job. Which, I mean, that's a little bit of sucking up. But we'll take what we can get. And then she looked at me with them big brown eyes and said, You ain't seen nothing yet. Alrighty. No, it might actually fill this thing. 7,000 liters just doesn't sound like a lot. <laughs> but I guess it would be a pretty ridiculous amount to expect it to hold that. Uh, 4,500. Okay. Well, well, well. All was not lost after all. Hey, look, our uh, clean your stuff up has disappeared too. There's a treat. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. Cha-ching. Look at the size of this puppy. Wild. Do -do 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 -do. Boom. Raka -laka. Yes, I'll take that. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of funny. That green line looks like it's sticking out of the snow to the tractor. As long as we keep the light green line on the dark green line, the world will be good. Seem to be drifting a little bit. Yeah, she's got a continuous drift to the left. Nice. Do 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 do. Sweet. Mm hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, we're starting to drift again. There we go. Hope we didn't make too much of a wooble out of it. Uh, I'm going to say it'll probably manage to get the job done without having to refill. Boom, chunkalaka. Oh, look. There's a wee bit of grass. So, I think I will finish the episode with this job, and uh, next time around, we have some potatoes to harvest. So, that will be, uh, that will be then, just like sort of this is now. So, hope everybody enjoyed. Remember to uh, hit the like button if you did, hit the dislike if you have issues with it, and let me know what they are. But as always, enjoy your weekend, guys, and we will... Uh, we will catch you later. Take care of each other, folks. Ciao for now.